Well, hello, everybody, and a very warm welcome to this week's chapel. I have a new friend. Um, I think many of you met her uh, last term. Her name is Trudy. Trudy came to live with me towards the end of last term. And, you know, she is the most wonderful companion. When I come down for breakfast in the morning, she gives me this great welcome. And she follows me everywhere. When I get up to make a cup of tea, she follows me to the kitchen. Uh, when I go outside to bring in some logs, she comes out to help me. Oh, and she listens to me. She agrees with everything I say, and she never, ever answers back. You know, one of the things I've really enjoyed is going on long walks with Trudy. When I first got Trudy, she walked right by my side. I think she was a little bit nervous. Uh, but now she's much, much more adventurous and she goes off to explore. So I have had to train her to come back to a whistle. She's not quite as obedient as Zephy yet, but I think she's doing really, really well. You know, I have lived in the same house in Grayswood uh, for over 30 years. But thanks to Trudy, I have discovered new walks around Grayswood, walks I have never, ever been on before. Uh, and you know, no matter what the weather, no matter how I am feeling, I never, ever regret going on a walk. I always feel better for getting outside and enjoying the beautiful countryside. I wonder why this is. Well, the Bible says that our beautiful world is not an accident. God planned it, he designed it, and he made it. And he wants all of us to enjoy it. When we spend time in God's creation, when we allow our senses the opportunity to be stimulated by its incredible beauty in some supernatural way, God touches us and we feel his pleasure and our hearts are glad. I'm sure we are all struggling with lockdown. It's hard not being able to do what we want to do, not being able to see uh, the people we want to see. Perhaps you feel afraid. Perhaps you feel lonely. Perhaps you feel unhappy. It is hard when your freedom is removed. Uh, this week I read a quote by Anne Frank. Some of you may have read her diary. Anne was sent to a Nazi concentration camp during the Second World War. Anne's freedom was completely removed in a way we cannot even begin to imagine. Listen to what she wrote. Anne wrote, the best remedy for those who are afraid, lonely or unhappy, is to go outside. Somewhere where they can be quite alone with the heavens, nature and God because only then does one feel that all is as it should be and that God wishes to see people happy amidst the simple beauty of nature. As long as this exists, and it certainly always will, I know that then there will always be comfort for every sorrow, whatever the circumstances may be. And I firmly believe that nature brings solace in all troubles. You know, we are all very fortunate. We are still free to enjoy God's wonderful creation. So this week, why don't you follow Anne's advice? Why don't you find comfort and happiness through spending time in nature? Uh, Mr. Reynolds sent me this amazing picture. It wasn't taken in the Alps. 
It wasn't taken in New Zealand. It was taken on his way to school. You know, we are surrounded by beautiful, beautiful countryside. So why don't you get outside this week and take a picture? Uh, perhaps you could capture a frosty morning or a beautiful sunset or a robin or your dog. Just make sure there is nobody in the picture and then email me your photograph and during the week I will put it together um, in a collage and we can enjoy seeing your wonderful photos next week in chapel. Okay, so let's, let's pray now. Dear Lord, we thank you for your amazing creation and we thank you for the privilege of living in this beautiful area. I pray this week that you will open our eyes to the wonder of your creation. Help us to see your power and your creativity and your love and help us to give you the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you all have a great week. Bye for now.